Hey everybody, today's video topic is camping with a battle axe. No, I'm not talking about your mother-in-law. Okay, today I'm talking about the cold steel Viking battle axe. All right, last time, I, I wanna head this off straight away. Last time, when I did this axe, I had a lot of uh, people in the comments making all kinds of crazy comments. First off, I want to say I am not convincing you to go out and buy one of these axes to purposely use it for camping. The intention of this video is to see how well this works for camping, okay? Maybe the zombie apocalypse is not going to happen, all right? Now, I know, don't get excited, don't get disappointed, but, you know, hey, it might not happen, all right? I, I, I don't pin your hopes and dreams on that. And rather than scaring the crap out of little Timmy next door by going out there and screaming like a madman, chopping down that plum tree in the front of your house with your wicked war axe, maybe just take a camping every now and then and, you know, get your frustrations out, okay? So, you know, take it off the wall, take it out, see how it works. Maybe you're like me and you just like to collect axes or you just have a collection and maybe you want to rotate it in the mix and just before you buy it hey can I possibly use it for a practical purpose and will it do okay all right that's the purpose of the video maybe is it not the best but can it still perform reasonably well okay obviously the answer is yeah it's a sharp thing on the end of a stick um, you know People have been using things like bones and, and rocks on the end of sticks and sharpened sticks to cut down trees. I think a blade on the end of a stick is going to do okay. So, enough yapping. Most people don't stick around for more than three minutes anyways. So, we're going to go do some work with this. I'm going to show you how it performs. You can make a decision on your, on your own. And at the end, I will throw in my two cents and how I think it performed. So, alright, enough yapping. Let's go. Let's get to work.
All right, I'm gonna attempt to do a little bit of splitting. This stuff's not really that big, but to be honest with you, I don't think this is gonna do very well anyways. And we're losing daylight and I'm ready for dinner. So let's see what we can do. Hopefully I won't hit the camera. I'm not planning on having a really big fire tonight anyways. If I do have a fire, it's actually not that cold. Like I said, this stuff isn't real big. That actually did way better than I thought. This stuff's actually really resinous, but I purposely got some stuff that's not very naughty. <laughs> naughty. Um, maybe if I can get some B-roll in, maybe I'll find some bigger stuff tomorrow, but right now, I wanna get some, get some dinner. So, let's do that. All right, guys, it's day two in Axe Camp here. Morning time. I'm going to cook up some breakfast. It's starting to rain, so I'm going to try and hurry through this before uh, so my camera doesn't get ruined. So, carrying on with the little battle axe here, let's see if we can do a little food prep. Another thing that would probably be better done with another tool, but... That's pretty well overloaded that pan. I'll put that in. We're gonna add some of this, some Miklich. Bailey's Secret Celtic Seasoning. It's a spice company here, local to me, and it's really good on potatoes, vegetables, anything like that. Really good. <laughs> Not real pretty, but. Okay, we'll add that in later. So it doesn't melt into nothing. Mm-mm, smells good. Well, let this cook down for a bit. We'll add in our meat. 
Brent, this will be done. All right, I think we're done. Mm-mm. Oh yeah, that's done. Got a little extra color to it, but... Mm. Mm hmm One of the nice things about this thing, sharing the same eye and being able to use the same handles as the rest of the cold steel tomahawks is that you can swap handles out. So instead of the full length handle, you can put something short on here like this. And I actually kind of like that because on the Viking hand axe, that thing's actually pretty handy to use around camp. Um, this thing could be just as handy, I suppose, but it's also a lot of fun to throw. It's a lot of fun to throw. These points really stick in. And of course you can throw with a long handle too. I normally prefer a taller target though with the taller hand with the longer handle. Barely skimming the ground with that long, long handle and that short target. Alright, my battery's about dead.